the last several years, the Riverside City College English Department faced the challenge that so many community colleges have to increase throughput and success in transfer level English. We implemented the major structural changes prompted by the AB 705 legislation that as of fall 2019, eliminates all required basic skills courses and provides access for all students to enroll directly in transfer level English. We knew we'd need some professional development to rethink how we support students in English 1A who will now be true first year students without the college knowledge often provided in prereq courses. These efforts lifted our throughput rate of students who pass transfer level English within their first year of enrollment from 8.7% in fall 2016 to 37.3% in fall 2019. And these numbers reflect the entire student population. Our pass rates among those who actually enrolled in English 1A or English 1A with our co-rec support course are higher. With that structural change securely in place by fall 2019, we focused our attention on professional development and what we could do at the individual section level. How instructors could find more deliberative methods to support students and increase success. We organized a community of practice that's currently in its second year of monthly readings, blog conversations, and workshops. In the 2019 to 2020 academic year, we focused on classroom and course design practices like culturally responsive and sustaining teaching, active learning strategies, and ways to connect with and support students. This year, all our sessions are focused on the theme of anti-racist pedagogy and strategies for classroom and class Zoom practice, text selection and utilization as ways to address student concerns. Our community of practice has also invited faculty to individualized document review sessions to look at syllabi, assignments and policies for ways to increase student engagement with the course and instructor increase student understanding of college practices and procedures, promote a student instructor partner model, and continue to examine and implement inclusive classroom and course design practices. While our large scale structural changes have already yielded higher rates of success across the student population and disaggregated demographic groups, we do see that the equity gaps between groups of students persist even after that structural change. Our goal is that these changes at the level of individual course design and continued expansion and refinement of our support courses and services around our English classes will narrow and eliminate those gaps. Hello colleagues, we are Melanie James and Catherine Stevenson, Associate Professors of English and AB705 Coordinators at Moreno Valley College. We are excited to share with you the English Department's success with implementing ongoing professional learning and communities of practice and increasing student success and equity. One of Moreno Valley College's success stories is the English disciplines institutionalizing regular and ongoing professional development in the form of institutes and communities of practice. Over the course of the last eight years or so, the English discipline has regularly offered professional learning to full-time and part-time faculty. In spring 2018, English established an ongoing community of practice called the COMP to support instructors teaching the co-requisite co course that replaced courses in the English Remedial Pipeline. Every semester since, the English discipline has held a community of practice. Coordinators design and facilitate comp workshops for full-time and part-time faculty, focusing on topics like acceleration strategies. The topics have shifted and evolved over time. For example, when the English discipline voted to discontinue offering the co-requisite course based on evidence that it was not serving the student populations recommended and required to take the course, English designed workshops around other embedded supports for students, culturally responsive teaching, anti-racist pedagogy, and specific strategies for making classrooms student-centered, asset-based, and interactive, moving away from lecture-based classes to the flipped classroom. 
A key aspect of English's success is the amount of faculty who have participated and who continue to participate. 100% of full-time and 85% of part-time English faculty have participated in one or more of the communities of practice. Professional development has contributed to a major paradigm shift away from deficit thinking about student capacity to asset-based thinking and critical introspection about instructor practices and institutional barriers from the remedial pipeline and textbook costs to assessment practices and implicit bias. In short, professional learning has allowed the discipline to transform its culture to focus on being student ready rather than focus on students' college readiness. In English, communities of practice focus on anti-racist and culturally responsive pedagogies, including active learning and student-centered classroom experiences aimed at creating more equitable outcomes. Besides examining instructor policies and assessment ecologies, communities of practice offer instructors a chance to create units relevant to student experiences and expertise and develop teaching tools such as prompts, rubrics, and toolkits for effectively practicing and demonstrating student learning outcomes. Professional learning has also contributed to the discipline's nearly quadrupling its transfer level English 1A success rate from an 18% to about 67% throughput rate. As the discipline's adoption of the accelerated class allowed students to skip pipeline classes and AB 705 effectively eliminated the remedial pipeline barriers altogether, professional development supported instructors through this sea change. Instituting regular and ongoing professional development in MVC's English discipline also correlates with higher success and retention rates. Faculty who regularly attend professional development have higher success and retention rates than the discipline average and faculty who do not participate in professional development. As a result of professional learning, English faculty have revised their English 1A course outlines of record to systematize practices that support student success, including recommending instructors bring to the center writers of color and historically marginalized writers, <clears throat> adopt culturally responsive and anti-racist teaching pedagogies, reduce word count in alignment with transfer requirements, and make use of OER or zero cost textbooks. Such revisions help institutionalize more equitable and effective practices. For example, a majority of faculty are not now teaching units that center writers of color reflective of students in the classroom and adopting more equitable assessment practices such as contract grading or labor-based assessment. More faculty are integrating flexible classroom policies such as accepting late work and revisions. More faculty are staying current in composition theories regarding best practices for our student population. While English is excited to continue communities of practice and aim for even higher student success and retention rates, while also working to close equity gaps, we are also excited to scale this work campus-wide. This spring, we are launching the Teaching Matters series, a series of workshops aimed at scaling up communities of practice to disciplines across campus. We will train faculty leads to create their own learning communities, implement program review action plans to increase success and equity, and offer data coaching with the Office of Institutional Effectiveness. Finally, our goal will be to align this work with ongoing campus initiatives like student equity and achievement and guided pathways. Thank you for the opportunity to share our success story. Questions or comments can be directed to Melanie James, Katherine Stevenson, or NBC's Guided Pathways team. come to school hoping to improve their lives. Guided Pathways provides students with an additional option. 
Guided Pathways will allow students to come to school and complete their educational goals in as little time as possible. I didn't have any guidance to the to my career goal, so I had to rely on my peers and ask them what classes, what courses I was supposed to take and what courses not to take, so I wouldn't waste time. Students are able to apply, complete their guided self-placement, and meet with counseling within the same day. When entering the path, students will be able to select their majors, their courses, and see their prerequisites. Students will be able to see their entire schedule of classes for the duration of their time at San Bernardino Valley College. Students will have access to a support team with tailored support to well-informed faculty and staff. What we have done over this past year is link our majors to careers. With the old website, it was harder to navigate because I wanted to know what school I was gonna transfer and what requirements I needed to transfer, but I didn't really get the information I needed. So it was definitely a bit tricky for me. At the beginning of the 2019-2020 academic year, our Guided Pathways Committee wanted to really focus on the clarifying the path pillar related to Guided Pathways. And what transpired was several uh, working group meetings to look at the uh, career fields, which is the title we gave to our meta majors. These career fields were a way to lump together the programs and certificates we offer in a way that made sense to students. So that when they entered the path, they had a good idea of what the outcomes of their particular degree or program would be. What we ended up with, with the great work from our marketing department, was an interactive career wheel on our website. Students are able to interact with this career field by picking a particular career field. Students click on a particular career field that interests them and are taken to a page that displays all of the programs that will fall underneath that category. So the wheel made it easier for me to explore different career paths because I have a specific career that I want to go to and the wheel actually gives you the categories and the requirements of that specific um, major. Thanks to the wheel, my interest expanded more towards my film major because it gives you a full in-depth explanation of the courses and other stuff you need to take in order to achieve your career goals for your major. Moving forward, the next step in the process will be to include the program maps that are developed by faculty uh, related to their particular programs. We're hoping to have that process completed for, by next year for catalog uh, fall 2022. What's been great about this Guided Pathways work over the last couple of years is watching the campus community come together from administration, faculty, classified staff, students, and community organizers working towards this common goal of increasing student success has been exciting work. What we are looking to do now is bring the two-year back into the two-year program.